I'm going to show you how to create rounded corners in Photoshop and be sure to stick around to the end because I have a few tips on how to fully customize those corners as well as how to save your photo as a transparent file so you can use it and retain those rounded corners in your projects. Let's go ahead and get started. So I have a photo open here and it's on a single layer here in the layers panel which you can see there. And I'm going to start out by going over to the toolbar and I'm going to select the rectangle tool. You can also use that keyboard shortcut U. And if you don't actually see that rectangle tool, you may need to right click and actually choose it from that little pop out. Then I'm just going to draw a rectangle over my image. Once you have the rectangle created, you can resize it to whatever size you would like. I'm just going to keep this as is here, but if you do want to resize it, use these little toggles on the right, left, top, and bottom to make those changes. You also want to make sure in the top options that your fill is set to any solid color. It doesn't matter what color it is, but the stroke should be transparent. So make sure it's that little white box with that red line through it. Now let's go ahead and create those rounded corners. In each corner, there's a little circle next to it. And if you hover over it, your cursor will change and it'll show a little kind of curved line. Simply click that and drag it to create those rounded corners. Now all we have to do is just take that photo and insert it into this rectangle. I'm going to do that by going over to my layers panel. I'm going to click that little lock icon and that simply unlocks that layer. That allows me to move this layer now in the layers panel. So I'm going to click and drag to position it above that rectangle that I just created. The next step is to clip this top layer to the rectangle below. To do that, we'll create a clipping mask. I'm going to hover in between the two layers, press and hold the Option or Alt key, and then click. And now that image is inside that rectangle. I now have that photo with those rounded corners, but let's see what else we can do with those corners to kind of customize it a little bit. I'm going to start by activating that rectangle tool at the bottom. And if you want to make changes to it, you also want to make sure that the rectangle tool is active in the toolbar. So when I created those corners, you notice that I only had to drag one of those corners and that actually will change all four corners at the same time. But if you wanted to only change one corner at a time, you can press and hold the Option or Alt key. And let's say I wanted to just make this one a standard pointed corner. Now the other three corners are rounded, but this corner here is back to the way it started. So then I'm going to go down to that bottom corner, press and hold that Option or Alt key, and then drag it out. And that allowed me to customize each individual corner one at a time. After I've done that, if I were to click and drag that corner again, it's going to adjust all four corners at the same time, but they're still going to be in that kind of customized setting where the top left and bottom right corner are a little less rounded than the others. I'm going to undo those last few settings so I have all four corners rounded once again. Now let's go ahead and add a simple border to the rounded corners. If you want to add a border to your photo, you want to go over to that rectangle in the layers panel and then double click off in that blank space to the right of the name. Doing that brings up the layer styles panel. I'm going to click the stroke option there in the styles list, play around with my size. I'll likely want to position it on the inside when I'm doing this type of edit. And I'm also going to adjust the color. And I'll click OK when I'm finished. Now I have my rounded cornered photo created. Let's go ahead and save this as a transparent file. I'm going to start out by kind of cropping the photo to remove that excess transparency around the outside of the image. The quickest way to do that is to go up to image trim and then choose that transparent pixels there at the top. Make sure that all four of these options are checked and click OK. Another thing you may want to do is resize your photo. To do that, go up to image, image size. You can see that this is a fairly large file. And if I were to share this online at this size, it would be enormous. So I'm going to start out by changing my resolution down to 72. And I'll set my width to 2000 pixels wide. And then I'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'm ready to save this as a transparent finished file. I'm going to go up to File, Save a Copy. I'll select the location I want to save it. 
And in format, I'm going to set this to PNG because PNG will actually retain that transparency in the image. Basically, anywhere there's that checkerboard in the background of your photo is going to be transparent when you save it as a PNG file. Then I'll go ahead and click Save. And I have a few more options here to choose from. These are fairly straightforward, so you can choose whatever you feel is best suited to whatever you are saving for. For this example, I'm going to choose smallest file size. It takes a little bit longer to save the file, but I'll have a much smaller file size to work with when I upload this online. Then I'll go ahead and click OK. Now when I preview that image on my Mac, I can see that it no longer has those harsh corners and that transparency has been preserved with that PNG file.